Hey guys, it's Jason with uh, Kentucky Sustainable Living. Quick video follow up on uh, the festival we just got done with uh, this last Sunday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, still trying to put the finishing bow ties and wrapping everything up on it. Still a few things to get done. I've still got a pig uh, to uh, finish cutting up and putting a freezer. I haven't done that yet. I'm getting ready to start on that uh, here in just a little bit after this video. But uh, <coughs> we had a great time at the festival. Final numbers are not in, uh, but we had an awesome turnout uh, for a first time event. I'm super pleased. Uh, the highlight of the festival, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, was uh, the amount of money we raised for Vets for Child Rescue. Our goal was $10,000 to raise for vets, and then they'll do an operation in uh, Kentucky for us. We, we went far beyond that goal. Uh, Shelly has not got the final count on the numbers because uh, we had a bunch of last-minute donations Sunday. Uh, I want to thank Rosie with Rosie's Sweet Treats. She went and got Dunkin' Donuts coffee and was selling coffee Sunday morning at the show selling coffee and cinnamon rolls. And uh, I think she got about $200 uh, for donations for Vets for Child Rescue. So we're somewhere, I think, uh, between like $10,500 and $11,000. So I want to thank everybody that came out and everybody that donated for that. That that made my night. There was not a dry eye in the place when we were talking about it. And uh, some phenomenal people helped support that and came to the event. Uh, I'm blessed to uh, know those people and got to eat dinner with them. And plus it's an amazing prime rib dinner. But uh, I wanna thank all the vendors, all our sponsors and all our speakers for that. Uh, amazing speakers. If y'all were not there, uh, you really missed out on getting to meet these people in person and talking to them, hearing their presentations. Uh, people drove in from all over. I mean, we had, Eric was probably the farthest person. Uh, Porterhouse and Teal, he came in from California and uh, taught the guild planning class, which that was an awesome class. It was a small, intimate class. Uh, he did uh, classroom stuff the first part of the morning. And then in the afternoon, we came out to my place and planted uh, a fair amount of trees and got a bunch of plants in the ground where the people could actually get their hands dirty and see what it was all about. It was great. Uh, the weather was kind of crappy for it, but I mean, you, you get what you get. Uh, it was mist and rain most of the day, but nobody nobody drowned in that little bit of rain and we got everything in. Uh, Chuck Peoples class, his home his one day Homestead medical class, it's, it's always amazing. Uh, the people that went through it came up to me and they're like, that class was awesome. It was, it was, it, it's super cheap for the, it, it's a great value for what you're getting uh, for a full day class. Uh, then a bunch of the speakers, uh, I'm not even going to name them because it's just, there's so many, I know I'm going to forget, but the speakers were amazing. We've got most all the speakers videoed. Uh, we're going to be releasing it on my channel and uh, I think Shelly's channel on Two Old Crows Homestead. We're kind of going through and doing some of the rough editing, editing on there. But if you watch this channel a lot, I don't edit much. It's just going to be raw footage with it. Uh, but guys, it, we've got another one planned March 23rd and 24th uh, coming up. So in about five months, we're going to have another one. And the planning we've take, we're going to take this week, recoup and start planning another one. So uh, if you didn't come to this one, you really missed out. And uh, the next one's just going to be better. We're going to have more vendors, uh, more speakers, more stuff to do. Uh, I know Brian with uh, SB Homestead Radio, we're planning a class, a uh, radio class with him that Friday before uh, to where you actually get licensed. You can get your uh, technician license there. It's going to be awesome. Chuck will probably be teaching another medical class there. Uh, like I said, tons more vendors, stuff like that. Guys, put it on your calendars. March 23rd and 24th is the next Kentucky Sustainable Living Festival. And uh, it's going to be at the same place in Bowling Green at the Western Kentucky Ag Expo Center. Uh, guys, I appreciate everybody that supported us for a first-time thing, and I'm truly grateful for y'all coming out. Y'all have a good day.